Hey guys, today I want to talk about the prowling staff because the shapeshifter staff nerf just dropped, specifically targeting the prowling staff. And you have to take into consideration the fact that prowling has already been nerfed multiple times. It's very weak. As I'm going to show you, I have a very good win rate against prowling staff. Uh, part of that is because our kit is very strong against it, but I'm telling you, it's not good. The only thing that makes this desirable to play is the fact that you can gangbang someone out of invisibility, and it just feels good. But objectively, it is not good, um, and you really have to have an IP advantage for it to be viable. So let's crunch the actual numbers here. For all shapeshifter staffs, they're reducing the damage of distortion. The base damage from 70 to 60, that's about a 14% nerf. And then a 50% nerf on this low strength. That's huge, especially for open world. Now, for Prowling Staff specifically, they dropped the base damage from Sinister Swipe from 90 to 76. That's a huge nerf on the Q. That's a huge part of their all-in damage, and it's really, really going to suffer because of it. Let's quickly take a look over here at my Murder Ledger. This is specifically all of my kills against Prowling Staff. What you're going to notice while we scroll through here is that I have a roughly a 50% uh, win-loss versus Prowling Staff. However, look closer. I'm almost always in T6 equivalent. Almost always. There is rare exception. My opponent, T7, 6.4. T8, T7, T8, T8, or T7, T7, T8, 6.4, T7. So with a massive IP deficit, I've maintained a 50% win rate. If we... Eliminate the ones that are like 6.4 or higher. I almost never lose. I almost never lose to prowling What this tells me is that it's incredibly weak. I just don't feel threatened by it at all Keep in mind all of these kills all of these look seven days ago. This was prior to this nerf and now Q damage 26% nerf uh, slow on the W 50% nerf like it's they just took it out of the game It's going to feel so bad People are still going to play it because they like the idea of just popping out of invis and bang, you're dead. Um, but they're not going to be able to take any real fights. They're relegated to basically IP crutching, ratting lower IP players, and it's not good if you're a prowling player. Here's a pretty good fight just to give you a feel of the battle axe versus prowler matchup before the nerf. And of course, I already said it's only going to get worse from here. But this is a T6 Battle Axe versus 6.3 Prowling Staff. And as you'll see, it's actually pretty close. I made one very egregious error at the end where I had everything on cooldown and I turned to fight him. And I just died for free because I'm... It was just stupid. I got what I deserved. Um, other than that, you can pretty much fight three to four tiers up Battle Axe versus Prowling. So, again, I don't think this nerf was necessary. But it's here anyways. So yeah, I'll leave y'all with a few more Battle Axe vs Prowler clips just for additional evidence. The last clip per in particular is kind of funny. I, m I miss every single E in the entire fight. 0 for 4. Still win. Like, all I did was Q and use defensives and win the fight. Like, it's... Prowler so weak. Just keep that in mind as you move forward um, and adjust your tactics accordingly. Anyways, until next time, take care. Maybe I'll find y'all in the mist. Peace.